On May 16, 2017, Robert Mueller was appointed special counsel to investigate Russian collusion within the Trump campaign. The FBI knocked on my front door on August 28th. You are allowing somebody to spend millions of dollars and consume the president's time and the public's time and the focus of our country. CNN was positioned right here. Questions have been raised about whether I know of direct evidence that Mr. Trump or his campaign colluded with Russia. I do not. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at two agents on the shuttle bus that I'm on, staring at me. I literally married him after his arrest. I guess uh, I jumped in this uh, spy movie with him. Let's break it down. Here's the deal. Welcome to this week's What's the Deal? We're gonna do something today, Frankie, I don't think anyone's done yet. We're gonna to toast to the conclusion of the collusion delusion. Thank you. Happy Palm Sunday, John. What a season it's been. To you and our audience, the Muller probe is over. And what a season it's been. That's for sure. Uh, we spoke with three people that have been at the heart of it. Jerome Corsi, George Papadopoulos, and of course, his trial coming up in just a couple months, Roger Stone. We've looked into all of them, we've compared it to the fake news media, and the timeline we've put together tonight is just amazing. Here's what the major left-wing media was saying about the Mueller probe, and here's what our guests were saying. We have major breaking news right now. The U.S. Justice Department has just named a special counsel in the Russia investigation. Robert Mueller, he is the former FBI director who served 12 years in that job. Immediately takes over the Justice Department's investigation of Russian interference in the 2016 campaign. There really is a new sheriff in town. On May 16, 2017, Robert Mueller was appointed special counsel to investigate Russian collusion within the Trump campaign. Pretty simple. Many fancy, supposed legal words have been used by the fake news to stoke the flames. Collusion. Collusion. Collusion with the Russians. Interference. Meddling. Russia meddle. Russia meddle. For meddling in the 2016 presidential election. The newest one. Synergy. Let's break them down. Collusion. According to Miriam Webster, a secret agreement or cooperation, especially for illegal or deceitful purposes, acting in collusion with the enemy. Well, after 19 months, $30 million spent, not a single document filed by Robert Mueller has included any evidence of the word collusion. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of pages, briefs, memos, maybe millions, pleadings, not a single mention of any evidence of collusion. Even if there was collusion, lifelong Democrat, Harvard attorney, Alan Dershowitz has said, the worst case scenario is still not a crime. 19 months later, $30 million to be exact, multiple indictments for crimes unrelated and post campaign. And yet again, still not a single piece of evidence tying Trump or his team to Russian interference. You're at the center of the Robert Mueller probe. And apparently, according to the feds, you're the go-between between the Trump campaign and Julian Assange. What say you? Well, it's a nice theory, but it isn't true. I mean, yeah. I've never met Julian Assange. I've never talked to him. I've never emailed him. And I don't know anybody in, as an intermediary who put me in touch with Assange. Now, this was the key point of this Mueller, uh, I, I call it inquisition. I was with them for 40 hours over six sessions in two months. Now, I, ca I came in, I want to cooperate. I gave them my laptops. The FBI knocked on my front door on August 28th. They knock on the door, they say, it's the FBI. My, my wife says to me, here we go. We open the door and they handed me the subpoena. I have nothing to hide. I've done nothing wrong. And the main question they want to know is, when was the last time you talked to Julian Assange from WikiLeaks? And, and I, I've seen you ask this question on almost every other media, but if I don't, then they're going to say I'm a hack. But did you ever 
even third party, have contact with Julian Assange? Uh, none whatsoever. I've never spoken to Julian Assange. I've never emailed him. I don't know him. I didn't know anyone who was in contact with him, who gave me information. Anyone from the Russian government? Nobody from the Russian government. I don't even like Russian salad dressing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, okay. I don't, have any, I don't know any Russian. Their theory was it was, you know, Roger Stone to me to Assange. And then Roger Stone to Steve Bannon to Donald Trump. And that was the chain for collusion. The problem was I never knew. It had no contact with Assange or anybody as an intermediary. See, the feds had a preconceived theory. They had their theory. Their theory was going to be real simple. You know, uh, Stone, Corsi, Assange. Yeah. And, Do you think and anyone from the federal government, in your view, has broken the law in the way they have hounded you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I filed a criminal complaint I know you against did, Mueller. But are there any specific people? Because I've heard a lot of names bandied about, about this investigator, that investigator. I've heard people say they're using mafia tactics and they're using strong arm tactics. Has, in your view, your, your doctorate, you've been around, has anyone broken the law in their pursuit of you? Well, I think the, the three in investigators were Gene DeRee, who um, had done legal work for Hillary Clinton's emails and the Clinton Foundation. Right. Uh, there was uh, Aaron Zelinsky, who was a prosecutor under Rosenstein. Yep. And uh, also Andrew Goldstein, who was head of the corruption division for Pret Bahara in Southern District of New York. Now, they're all solid Democrats. Their plea deal would have required that I, uh, in fact, they were- Lie about yeah. a lie. Well, they were saying I had to admit to the judge and to God that I had knowingly and willfully given them information I knew to be false with the intent to deceive them. Now, I didn't do that. In fact, the one count they wanted me to plead to was testimony I gave on the first day before I saw my 2016 so emails. You, just to be clear, you were offered a plea deal yes. by the Mueller team yes. where you may have spent very little to no time They said in no jail, prison time. No prison time. Right. And as we sit here today, right. you are waiting every moment to potentially be They could be come in the door up. right now. That my would wife, my I, wife, I would hate it for you, yeah. but it would be great ratings for us. Big good television. You know yeah. <laughs>